I'm Mel Poole with Stoked MTB here with another installment of the College of Knowledge. These short informative videos are full of tips and tricks to improve your cycling experience and build your stoke for more. In this segment, we're going to be looking at some safety tips for using bike racks. You'll notice that my remedy is loaded as close to the vehicle as possible. That's because as we are getting bikes on there, it starts to become a bit of a long lever. Um, and the, the rack is designed to have the weight as close to the, to the tongue of the hitch as possible. So have the weight as close to the vehicle as possible. This is especially important um, if you have like a, a three or four bike rack and you're only putting one bike on it. I know it's a bit of a pain in the butt to reach past those, uh, those other trays or cradles, uh, depending on your rack style, but it is quite important because it's creating um, a long lever and, uh, and it's gonna be safer for your bike. For racks like this Thule T2 Pro, you wanna make sure that the arm for the front wheel is beyond the apex of the tire otherwise it could fall down in catastrophic results um, so you want to make sure you're beyond the apex of that but you don't want it right up against your fork um, because there's going to be a lot of vibration from the road and nobody wants scuffing from that so find a sweet spot just beyond the apex and then push it down tight next up you want to make sure that your tire strap is not up against a spoke. This can cause damage to your spoke. Likewise, it should not be near the valve stem either. Many racks have locking features, uh, such as this guy here has a cable lock. Um, this is meant for uh, when you're just buying gas and you're just running in um, to prevent someone from walking off. These are easily defeated by determined thieves. So uh, if you're traveling and you're say, say you're stopping somewhere overnight, you want to be taking your bike in uh, to the hotel room despite what they say. Uh, this is not enough to stop a, a thief overnight. Uh, now I'll quickly demonstrate how this uh, gadget works. So we pull this guy out here, carefully feeding it through the fork so as not to scratch our paint. And then shove her in there. And then the key on under here. We want to make sure that we're going through, uh, uh, through the fork here. Uh, depending on what bike you're locking up, you might go through the frame. You just want to make sure that you're not just going through the spokes of the tire because someone could easily just pull the wheel off and you come back to find just your wheel. Uh, undo. Another point to keep in mind when we're using a uh, lock like this, that's gonna come through here. You're only using this when you're stopping. You don't wanna be driving with it on uh, because it's up against the stanchions and with vibrations from the road and the wind um, it's going to cause abrasions on your stanchions and that is the last thing that anyone wants ever gotta look after those stanchions that's where the fun happens so these guys just for when you're making quick stops okay fun fact this little rubber guy is to reduce scratching on your beautiful rims Thanks for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope you learned something. And uh, if you want more of this, you know what to do.